The Joffrey Ballet joins the CSO and conductor Matthias Pincher for a program of Rossini, Ravel, and Stravinsky. Rossini's overture to the Barber of Seville originally had nothing to do with the comedic opera. He first composed it for one of his serious operas, Aureliano in Palmira, but Rossini knew a good thing when he wrote it, so he recycled it twice, the second time for Barber. The opera is based on a comedy by Beaumarchais, and the overture's main theme seems to perfectly capture its mix of slapstick, disguises, and buffoonery. Ravel's enchanting Mother Goose Suite is based on the 17th century children's rhymes by Charles Perrault. With his small stature, Ravel had a way with children, and he enjoyed mechanical toys and fairy tales. He wrote this suite as a piano duet for the young children of the Godebskis, a Polish couple who were close friends. When Ravel orchestrated the suite a year later, he added colorful percussion sounds. Some of these suggest a Javanese gamelan that he heard at the Paris exhibition of 1889. Ravel composed his Pavane for a Dead Princess in 1899 for the Princesse Edmond de Polignac, otherwise known as Winneretta Singer. She was a French-American arts patron and heiress to the singer's sewing machine fortune. Eleven years later, Ravel arranged the piece for orchestra. This version preserves the sense of mystery, coolness, and melancholy that makes it unique in his catalog. In 1920, impresario Serge Diaghilev asked Stravinsky to arrange ballet music from a bundle of scores attributed to Pergolesi. Stravinsky did more than arrange the 18th century music. He added tangy harmonies and angular rhythms, making it distinctly his own. It became Pulcinella, named after the Neapolitan Commedia dell'arte figure. For this performance, the Pulcinella Suite is the basis for a new ballet by Christopher Wielden. Finally, Stravinsky's Dumbarton Oaks Concerto was commissioned by American diplomat Robert Woods Bliss and his wife Mildred Bliss for their 30th wedding anniversary. Stravinsky had just contracted tuberculosis, however, and was sent to a sanatorium in Switzerland, joining his wife and two daughters, who were also ill. Tragically, his eldest daughter and his wife didn't survive. During this time, Stravinsky found comfort in the music of Bach. The Brandenburg Concertos became a key influence on the new piece. Stravinsky named it the Dumbarton Oaks Concerto after the Bliss Estate in Washington, D.C. Its premiere took place there in 1938.